the new YouTube watches. The, the, the name is Electro Belton, aka ELA three zero zero three zero six. And right now I'm doing like my first com comic book review vlog, if you will. And let me tell you about about myself. I'm twenty years old. I'm a fan of comic books. Three time honor roll student at my high school for three states for three straight years to be exact, I, I believe. Not sure, but that's what I think. A brain bench certified security awareness. And last but not least, a part time cosplayer as well. And what I'm about to do today is review a couple of my favorite comics from the past. And first off, it's, hold on, it's Batman Beyond by Ty Templeton and, uh, sorry, not Ty Templeton, Hilary Beta and Rick Boucher. Well, as you know, if you watch Batman Beyond, it features a young teenager named Terry McGinnis who suits up to become Batman of, of the future. And, uh, let's see. And... He also creates his own supervillain, spoiler alert, called Blight, because you see, Dirk Powers sent his thugs to murder his parents, a la Bruce Wayne's parents back in the day. And, um, let's see. Later on in the story, Bruce Wayne offered Terry a new job opportunity, which in reality, Bruce wanted Bat Bruce wanted Terry to become the new Batman and fight some dastardly new villains as well. And later on in each story, he fought villains like let's see if I can re remember them again. Ink, you know that little blobish supervillainess who's like Clayface and can shapeshift and stuff. Let's see who else? Etrigan, the demon, aka Jason Blood. Which is the guy who transforms into Etrigan by reciting a spell. And lastly, a. Let's see. Well, lastly, a mummified person who wanted Dana Tan because, you see, he thinks that Dana is his girlfriend. And let me tell you about the art. The art is pretty fine by my standards because it resembles the animation as seen on the Batman Beyond TV show by Bruce Tim and Co. Penny. And also, the pencils and the layouts are kind of fluid to me, which I kind of appreciate as well. And it reminds me of the Batman Beyond movie with Return of the Joker, with its smooth animation as well. And the lettering is easy for me to understand. Know what I'm saying? And the and the, the story context? Well, the story context is pretty shway, which means cool in future tense, by the way. And I really love each character's actions and developments and stuff in each chapter of the story. And one little tidbit in the story it has the word the word hell in there. Which is quite taboo back in the day when the 90s TV shows are for kids. Well, m some cartoons, by the way. But that's just, but that's what I think. Well, who knows. And another comic I'm going to review to you today is Justice League Unlimited. The ties that bind. And as you all know, Justice League Unlimited is a continuation of the hit Cartoon Network show, Justice League. And it introduces a lot more DC Comics characters than ever before. And, um... And, um... Since it's Independence Day this week, depending on where you live, it has a nice Freedom Fighter story, which is quite patriotic, when it has Uncle Sam and his Freedom Fighters facing off against the Justice League, and, um, I think you may gotta pick up that book to find out the outcome of the battle. And, as far as I can tell for the art, like I said before, it's the Batman Beyond one. It resembles some of the animation done 
by the D by the Warner Brothers animation on the Cartoon Network. And also, I kind of like the interactions between all the characters. And so, so. And also, I also like the story featuring my man John Stewart as the Green Lantern and Vixen working on a case together to stop Killer Frost and Heat Wave. And to me, it's like a small little love story between those two characters. And I kind of get the fact that sometimes fire and ice just don't get along. But Green Lantern and Vixen, well, they do. Which I would probably recommend this book as well. And with that in mind, I'll try to make some more comic comic book vlogs that I got from my local comic book shop in my area. And no promises, by the way. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy my little pilot of my vlog series of comic book reviews. Thank you guys. Peace out. Excelsior. And have a nice day.